His testimony comes one day after the company announced the breach affected two and a half million more U.S. consumers than initially reported, bringing total to 145 million people. One thing we can expect to hear from Richard Smith is a mea culpa. We have a copy of the former CEO's prepared remarks, and they start with an apology to each and every person affected by this breach. I am deeply sorry that this occurred, they say. In his testimony, Smith also acknowledges that despite government warnings in March about the software vulnerability that led to the breach, the company didn't implement the patch that was issued for it despite an internal email. He also gives new details about who knew what and when. Smith says that he found out about the personal information that was breached on August 15th. Two days later, Smith says he briefed his senior leadership team. He does not name names. On August 22nd, Smith says he notified the lead member of the board of directors and current chairman Mark Fiedler, as well as his direct reports. The full board was informed of the breach on August 24th and 25th, nearly a month after uh, it was detected. Uh, another thing that he'll likely be grilled on, the share sales by three Equifax executives on August 1st and 2nd. Equifax says those execs didn't know of the breach at the time. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.